Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm talking about bending and which harmonica is going to be best and quickest to help you learn to bend. So let's do away with keys straight away because I just want to make clear that there isn't really a certain key of harmonica that is best for everyone to learn bending. Some people prefer low, some people prefer high. Um, so you may as well stick with a key of C harmonica to begin with. Various different types of harmonica can bend, but you're probably looking at a 10 hole diatonic harmonica. That's the most common thing for blues, and that's usually what people are talking about when they're talking about bending notes. So with that done away, we've got a C diatonic harmonica. Which type, uh, which make and model is going to help you to bend? Well, the basic rule really is that the absolute cheapest ones are a bit naff, so don't bother with them, especially if you're trying to learn a proper technique. So if you think of the stuff you get free with a teach yourself book or the stuff that costs five quid or five dollars or whatever, they're not great. You can get a bend out of them, but the difference is that they haven't been precision en engineered. So you're going to have to work harder and harder to get those notes to move. And that makes it less fun, takes longer, um, and I don't think it's worth the effort. The beauty of harmonicas is that a good harmonica really doesn't cost much. So for about £40, $50, you can get a really, really good harmonica, such as this is a Hona Special 20. This is the type that I really recommend. It's a mid-range harmonica. It isn't really expensive, but it's certainly not the cheapest. I gig with them. They're really reliable. They bend really nicely, but they're not going to break the bank. I want to warn you against... I mean, if you're a billionaire, do what you want. But I want to warn you against spending a fortune on a custom harmonica. You don't need one, especially not to begin with just learning to bend. The point at which you might want a custom harmonica is if you're pushing your playing onto that next level, you're really pushing on as an intermediate advanced player and you want to get that extra finesse, those extra one or two percent in terms of your playing, they can really help push that on. But to begin with, I'd say go with a special 20. If you, if you don't want a special 20, if you want a wooden comb, and maybe a marine band, or if you look at um, Suzuki or Zydel or Lee Oscar, um, then all of those, uh, Kongsheng now, there's, there's other brands out there, they all have mid-range 10-hole diatonics that will work absolutely fine for learning that technique. The real disclaimer with all this is that you, you, whether you get one of these harmonicas or not, it's all going to be down to what's going on in here, what what technique you're using, whether you've got good technique or not. So it's, it's very much the case that a bad workman blames his tools. And I get a lot of questions of people saying, oh, is there something wrong with my harmonica because I can't bend? 99.9% .9 of the time, it's technique. Every now and again, you get a dud harmonica and it won't bloody let you play the thing. But most of the time, it's down to just learning the technique. So if you do want to learn to bend, I have a video on how to bend notes on harmonica. You can just search on Google or on, or on YouTube, um, but I put a link beneath the video, um, so do check that out. I hope that this has helped uh, clear things up a little bit if you're looking at learning to bend. And if you have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I put out free harmonica lessons every single week, so you get notified of those and it really helps to grow my channel and it helps me to keep making these videos which I want to do for you so I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice, see you soon, cheers.